ClickHouse is the world's fastest analytical database, and ClickHouse Cloud is the fastest way to get started. Start by going to clickhouse.cloud and signing up for a free trial. Click the register link to create a new account. After verifying your email address, sign in using your email and password. The onboarding wizard is going to walk you through creating your first service. Start by picking the region where you'd like your service to be deployed. Give your service a name and click the Create Service button. ClickHouse Cloud uses IP filtering to limit access to your service. You can specify specific IP addresses, and there is also a button for adding your current IP address. You can also open your service to any IP address, but we do not recommend that for security reasons. Your database username is default, and ClickHouse Cloud generates a password for you. Make sure you download the password or copy it to your clipboard before continuing. Your new service is now provisioning, and it should only take a moment before the status changes to running. Click the connection link icon to view options for connecting to your service. To quickly start running SQL commands, copy your password, then click the Connect to SQL Console button. The Play UI allows you to run SQL queries from your browser and view the responses. Be sure to paste your password in the password text field. We will start with a simple query, show databases. The system database contains a wealth of information about your ClickHouse service, and the information schema databases are part of the ANSI standard. The default database is initially empty, and it's where your tables will be created if they do not specify a specific database. Let's create a new database named Hello World. And let's create a new table and name it My First Table that contains four columns. Notice it also defines a primary key, which does not represent a unique identifier for each row, but instead determines how the data is sorted when it gets written to disk. Primary keys in ClickHouse are not unique for each row in a table. Pick a good primary key that contains columns that you filter by frequently, as those queries will execute much faster. Now let's insert some rows. Each insert creates a new part behind the scenes that contains a folder of files. In order to minimize parts, it's a best practice in ClickHouse to batch insert as many rows as possible, tens of thousands or even millions of rows at once. For a simple way to get data into ClickHouse, you can upload a CSV file. From the Services page, click on your service, then select Load Data from the Actions dropdown. Notice you can upload data using Curl File Upload or load some sample datasets with a simple click of a button. Let's upload a file. Paste your database password into the dialog window. Then drag and drop or select your file. Click the Upload File button and ClickHouse tries to infer the column names and data types of your data. Give your table a name and click the Create Table button. Notice the table appears in the default database and a thousand rows of Hacker News comments were uploaded. Seamlessly scalable, delightfully simple, and extraordinarily fast. We believe anyone can gain data-driven insights in real time no matter how large their data volumes are without the need to build and maintain complex computer infrastructure.